have faith in God to accomplish His word, have faith in love. Have faith in God to accomplish His word, have faith in love. When Jesus spoke to the fig tree, write down, write down. When Jesus No, no, you went to ahead. Go behind. The next. Have you finished that? Okay. Anyone who says to the mountain, anyone who says to a mountain, move and does not doubt in his heart and does not doubt in his heart but believes but believes what he says he will have it he will have it mark 11:23 mark 11:23 next Every idle word, every idle word will demand an explanation. Every idle word will demand an explanation. By our words, by our words, we will be justified or condemned. By our words, we'll be justified or condemned. Next. Whatever is in a heart, whatever is in a heart will come out of our mouth. Whatever is in a heart will come out of our mouth whether it's good or evil whether it's good or evil Luke 6 45 Luke 6 45 next what you put in what you put in is what you bring out. What you put in is what you bring out. Next one. Out of the abundance of the heart, out of the abundance of your heart, out of the abundance of your heart, your mouth speaks. Your mouth speaks. Next. As you speak God's word, as you speak God's word, please underline that word, he, he will make it happen, he will make it happen. Next one, make your words acceptable to God, 
make your words acceptable to god psalms 19 was number 14 psalms 19 was number 14 next say that the lord will deliver you and he will Now that that you have to make a correction. Say that the Lord has delivered you, and He will. Just make that correction. Say that the Lord has delivered you, and He will. Say that the Lord has delivered you, and He will. Next. Your mouth is satisfied. Your mouth is satisfied with good things. Your mouth is satisfied with good things, and your youth is renewed. Your mouth is satisfied with good things, and your youth is renewed. Psalm one hundred and three was five. Psalm one hundred and three, verse five. Next one. The Hebrew root of the word "things" is "word." The Hebrew root of the word "things." We already learned. Come here. I want to tell you some thing. See that you don't tell anybody any thing. Okay, next. Fill your mouth with God's word. Fill your mouth with God's word, and your youth is renewed. Fill your mouth with God's word, and your youth is renewed. Next, this is powerful. Angels listen for your words. Angels listen for our words that agree with God's word. Angels listen for our words that agree with God's word. Then they are activated. then they are activated to work to work on our behalf to work on our behalf psalm 103:20 psalm 103:20 hebrews 1:14 hebrews 1:14 Praise the, Praise the Lord. Next, you have in your life today. You have in your life today. You have in your life today what you said yesterday. You have in your life today what you said yesterday. So to change your life. So to change your life, change your words. So to change your life, change your words. Next one. Okay, just go go to the beginning where we started. The fourth one. Are you ready? Praise God. Have faith in God to accomplish His word. Have faith in love. Now, my question to you is: Supposing your child, all you mothers and fathers, your child was playing, and your child 
fell down and is really hurting and you are at a distance question will you stand watching will you wait till the child gets up will you run and pick up the child what will you do my question to you is have you fallen in your life yes. are you a child of god yes did god run to you yes let's be honest if he had to run to you and lift you up you wouldn't have suffered 23 years so don't just give me a oral exam answer give me something that we really experience in our everyday life do you see god coming and lifting you up or you are in pain trouble and sorrow that's all the time okay so who is better than is god's love better or mama's love better so who comes to your rescue mama or god when you fell down who came to pick you up mama and you are saying god's love is better Now might be your mind is saying am i in the right place this fellow is talking against god i'm not talking against god i'm teaching you the truth praise god now for us to understand why is god not running towards me and lifting me up where is my mama comes to my rescue why is god not coming to my rescue let's go to genesis 1:26 what does it say and god said let let us let us let us let us let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let and let and let let us make and let them have See that? Let us make and let them have. So when God created, He created, and then the creation was with us. Who is that us? God. God is singular. Who is that us? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good. the father the son and the holy spirit the trinity is us and who is that them we we so god is saying i love you so much that this earth belongs to me 